Y'all trying to make the next highlight on Sports Center, huh? What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Thummy Mace here, bringing you another episode of Road to Division One with Scrandom Team. So it's that time of the series where we got to make a new team because we just got promoted to Division Seven, And I've got Chris here with me, and Chris is going to help us pick our players and build a team around those two players. So without further ado, we're going to head over to the transfer market, and Chris is going to give me the page and the item for the look up. Four and three, so page four, item three. Let's see what it's going to be. It's going to be Kabai. He is not too shabby. Johan Kabai, I believe his name is. And what's the second page, the second item? Five and five. So let's go ahead and see what's on page five and what item five is. One, two, three, four, five. And Hummels. All right, this is going to be fun. So we've got Hummels and Kabai. We're going to go throw them into a concept squad. And we got to get a random formation. So Chris, tell me when to stop. Uh, four, two, three, one. So this is going to be very interesting. So we're going to go ahead and throw Hummels down. And then we're going to go ahead and throw uh, Kabai down after Hummels. And we're going to see what kind of team we can come up with. And once we come up with the team, I'm going to build it. And then we're going to go ahead and jump at some gameplay after that. So it's going to be all, all roses and rainbows. It's going to be a great time. So stick around, guys. All right, guys, so we've built, we've got the team. We're going to go ahead and introduce them now. So in goal, we've got Weidenfeller. He looks to be pretty damn good. I've used him a couple times this year. He's got 82 diving, 84 handling, 82 reflexes, and 85 possession. It's pretty damn good stats for an 83 overall keeper. Pretty cheap. In left back, we've got Ricardo Rodriguez. He's pretty damn good, too. 76 pace, 76 uh, passing, 76 dribbling, 79 defense, and 76 fizzle. Pretty well-rounded card. His inform I've used before, and that, that card's pretty good, too. So at left center back, we've got Socrates. And he is, as well, a pretty damn good center back for 82 overall for cheap. 78 pace with 84 defense and 82 physical. Like, that's pretty damn solid. And at right center back, we've got Hummels. And Hummels is a beast, as we all know. He's a little lacking on the face, but he makes up for it with his defense. And then at right back, we have a guy I've never used before. Diekmir, I think that's how you say it. I don't know. But anyway, he's got incredible pace. I actually saw someone, I can't remember, it's someone on YouTube recommending, I think it was Lasty. Um, he's a great YouTuber. Go check him out. Um, anyway, who was said he's the best back he's used this year. So I figured I'd give him a shot. And center defensive mid, the right center defensive mid, we have Philip Lom, who is quite, uh, seems to be quite the beast. He's got 76 pace, 84 passing, 83 dribbling, and 87 defense. So we'll see how he fares in his role. The left center defensive mid, we've got a guy named Gilavagi, Gilavagi, something like that. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at pronouncing it. Anyway, 70 pace, 74 defense, 79 physical. He's there kind of for chemistry reasons, but he doesn't look that bad really. He looks like he could be um, a pretty well, a pretty good, do pretty well in the defensive half. In the center attacking center role, we've got Johan Kabai with the 68 pace, the 75 shooting, 82 passing, 78 dribbling, 71 defense, and 73 physical. He's a pretty well all-around player, and that's why you have him back there in the center center attacking mid spot. At left center attacking mid, we've got Valbuena, who has got the 86 pace, 73 shooting, 80 passing, and 83 dribbling. I'm hoping to be able to get up and down the pitch with this guy and pull off some really nice skill moves with his four-star skills. At left center attacking mid, we've got Inform Payette, 79 pace, 81 shooting, 82 passing, 82 dribbling, four-star skill moves, four-star weak foot. He, I, I'm thinking he's going to get us a nice number of assists and a nice number of goals. And in striker, we have Benzema. Yes, Benzema. I actually packed his in form a while back. Yeah, and he was actually, it didn't seem like he did too much as in form, but you know what? When I look back at his stats, I think he had some a goal a game or something like that, so it was pretty good. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and jump into some gameplay now and hopefully get our first win of Division 7 and start off on the right foot. So let's go ahead and find a game. Alright, so we find someone and he is running a 4-3-3 three, three, 
four. No, three. Sorry. With the two center defensive mids. He's got a nice team. Got Loic, Sanchez, Silva. It's going to be a good game. So, first chance here. He plays the ball through to the pacey Loic Remy. Loic Remy takes a shot, but Weidenfeller with a great save. And another save right again. It was a great save by Weidenfeller. So, we have the ball. Oh, but it gets played out. Till Rodriguez. Rodriguez plays it back in. We play it into Kabai. Kabai, go ahead. Puts it over to Payet. Payet's just going to finish that. That's a goal. That's awesome. Came in the 15th minute, so pretty early on. And, you know, early goals equal wins generally. So, let's see if we can play good defense, pick up more goals, and secure this W right out of the gate to start off Division 7. That would be great. Let's do this. Another chance comes here. Kabai plays it to Benzema. Benzema's going to go ahead and do some nice ball rolls with a smooth drag back. And then... Valbuena is going to do some, some Valbuena stuff. Play it into Kabai. Kabai's going to do the overpowered sliding shot and put it into the back of the net to make it 2-0 in the 25th minute. Another relatively early goal. Makes me feel like we're even going to win this game even more. So I'm feeling I'm pretty confident with this team. I like how we're starting to play with this team with the first game, so this is good. <clears throat> so straight from kickoff here, he goes on a little run. <clears throat> gets past my midfield. Just rips it. But unfortunately for him, it just goes over the bar with Sanchez. It was a good, good, powerful shot. So he gets another chance here. Plays it, plays it to Fernando, I believe, and then plays it to Remy. <clears throat> plays it in the ball. Nice passing of passage of play right here. And he takes a shot, but Weidenfeller just straight out Wyden, Weidenfeller, and Weidenfeller is gonna make that save. So we play it onto we have Kabai here. Kabai gets pushed down, but we steal it right back. We see Benzema. We see Benzema making that run. Benzema going in on goal. Benzema shooting. It's a goal. That's great. We're up 3-0. It's the 50th minute, so we're up 3-0. There's no way he could come back. This has got to be a for sure win. It's just not possible for him to come back. I mean, 3-0 down with only 40 minutes to play? I don't think it's possible. I mean, maybe it is if you just went ham, but I just I can't see us losing. So that's good. We're having fun. This is fun. Let's keep it going. So here we go. He gets a ball. He's doing some nice nice things out on the wing with this player. He puts it in and he heads it, but Feidenfeller with a phenomenal save. That dive, that save, that was great. So he plays it out here. <clears throat> he has it with Sanchez, and Sanchez is just deadly. Plays it on to Fernando to Remy, and he plays it back to Sanchez. Sanchez is gonna cut inside, and Sanchez is pretty damn good if you guys haven't figured that out yet. He shoots it. It just powers it, man. I mean, if I didn't feel like even got a touch in that ball and it still went in. That's how powerful Sanchez's shot is. Man, I, I really want to use his end form. Anyway, so he steals the ball here, unfortunately for us. He plays it on. He's going to play it to Loic Remy. Loic Remy is going to outpace our team. And yeah, Videnfeld starts to come out. And so Loic Remy just has an easy goal. But he powers it. It's actually a pretty strong shot. So yeah, that was... Uh, it's the 90th minute, luckily. So there's not much more time for him. And so he gets another chance here. in extra time to tie it up. He goes in. He crosses it. And Loic Remy heads it. But luckily it was just over the bar. And so we didn't concede there, and that's always good. So that's how the game ends, 3-2. The guy made a strong comeback there late on, which, you know, kind of had me worrying because I really thought I had that game locked up once I scored that third goal. But anyway, so we get the win, so that's good. We're starting out Division 7 right with the three points. And, yeah, let's hope we can keep continuing. Let's hope we can continue that because the more – I'd rather – I mean, it's always – I love playing with these teams we're making, but – I would rather get get through the divisions, get to Division 1 as quickly as possible. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, subscribe, like. That would be absolutely phenomenal. And, yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.